it's Sarah from Welcoming Bus Ladies and today I'm just gonna go straight on to the topic. So today on 10th of September, Vanchi launched their invite only trial for Vanchi 3.0 for VTC Incorporation and this is basically the alpha experimental net for Vanchi 3.0 and Vlink, which has been projected to be implemented before January 2019. So the Vanchi team stated that they have been exerting remarkable efforts on their invention and are delighted to provide the alpha testnet in time. And obviously today will stand out as one of the commencements of one of the most remarkable accomplishments for Vanchain so far. So some of you might ask, what is Vanchain? I've never ever heard of it. So Vanchain primary links and swaps value between various blockchain ledgers in a decentralized way. The company employs modern cryptographic techniques to, to create a non-proprietary cross-chain protocol and a decentralized ledger which keeps both cross- and intra-chain activities. All types of blockchains can coordinate with Vanchain to create links between various ledgers and execute cost-effective interledger proprietary exchanges. The Vanchain protocol bugs both smart contracts and token transfer privacy protection. And apart from Vanchain's amalgamation with VTC being a huge milestone for the crypto world, this amalgamation will also be advantageous to users of Ethereum-based projects. Once the Vanchain 3.0 is launched, all dApps, protocols, DX, and any other projects assembled on Ethereum will be empowered to bridge the gap between their networks and the whole public of BTC operators. So, for example, decentralized operations like Hyper DX will now be empowered to provide BTC transaction pairs and extra pairs on decentralized transfer in Vanchi's Bitcoin token, WBTC will enable exponential rises in businesses and liquidity for the crypto world at large. We also have a concept of linking the world's virtual resources. So the intertwined virtual economy is a stage that is taking place as the Earth's resources are tokenized. And the main agenda behind this is to ensure the infrastructure vessels of the new virtual economy are not functioning in silos. Pursued economy ought to be unified and with each blockchain, public and private, empowered of functioning externally in the general blockchain world. And the shift towards blockchain interoperability is an essential period in laying the basis for the looming virtual economy. So this is all good, but how does actually cross-chain method functions? So they're explaining quite well, but I've got sort of a, my way of saying it into this aspect of a video. So a certain sum of BTC can be sealed on its own chain, while an initial one-to-one -one receipt is installed on Vanchain as Vanchain's Bitcoin cross-chain token the previously mentioned WBTC. It can be implied in the Vanchain side, for instance, in dispersing cross addresses, token creation operations, DX activities, and liquidity pools. WBTC for BTC redeeming can be done at basically any time. And the Vanchain team acknowledged that the biggest challenge most projects face is ascertaining their platforms. In that connection, the team wants developers from the community to access their platform before the official launch. There are gifts for programmers and developers who successfully recognize bugs in the projects. So the partakers will be required to produce their email addresses, their country of origins and their years of experience. So let's have a quick look now on to market and what's currently going on. So we've got market cap at 197 billion. So we are currently below 200 billion. Genius me again, Bitcoin dominance are 55% with Ethereum being at 10% and market is obviously all in green. But within the 24 hours, we do have some greenery with Dogecoin absolutely killing it. You know, there's been, if you guys seen my video on Dogecoin, Dogecoin basically doesn't care about what Bitcoin does, how Ethereum's going to maybe an end or not necessarily, or whether the Bitcoin ETFs actually happen and if SEC approves them, it just keeps climbing up. And it's really good to see and interesting what the upcoming weeks actually got for the platform. But let's go back to Vanchain because I'm getting a bit carried away. So Vanchain is currently trading at 89 cents and it's down 4% in 24 hours. The market cap is just below 100 million. The all-time high was around 4th of May at $9.30. So it's down 90% from its all-time high. But with all fairness, 
what isn't done right now. You can get Bunchin on Binance, Huabi and KuCoin. So it's not widely available yet. It's interesting to see what the upcoming months will bring to this crypto. Let me know guys if you're actually following them because they are following on Twitter. It's very, very impressive. So if you guys enjoyed our video, if you are invested into Vanchain, hit the like button. Honestly, it would be really nice to see some positivity in the market and enjoyment of the videos. If you guys like me and my style, follow me on my Twitter, at AllQueenSara, where I post one of my favorite things I've seen in a while. Do you guys know your ABCs? That's my question. Lots of people are saying that they would replace gladly one crypto with another. This is what I found. And... Really, to be fair, it's not a bad way to learn an alphabet. I don't have my own kids, but maybe one day. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button, subscribe to Combust Ladies, and I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.